streaming but steak.com as well bro i'm not gonna lie that shit is annoying bro when i'm on twitter bro just clips in general and it has the little steak thing under it i'm like bro y'all niggas this is this annoying bro huh? so the streamer awards have officially ended and shout out to all of the big twitch and youtube creators who won all of these awards throughout the night but i think the biggest news that shout out Rage. this award show involves the kick streaming platform and let's just say it was the worst possible day that they could have had with two of the biggest streamers who were left on kick announced their departure from the platform oh it's shit. looking like the end of kick is finally here but what two streamers are we exactly talking about and rage i know rage went on his to lead to their departure well that's probably what you're here to figure out so if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the tribe boss with the biggest i know the first one is rage don't forget to click that very first link down below in my description to join my discord server and become an official member of the community now with all of that being said let's get into the end of kick streaming okay so i have made a few videos a few weeks ago talking about the whole drama between aiden ross and kick streaming oh Oh, whoa. Oh, shit. I didn't see these. As well as some of the things that have already happened with the platform as well. Oh, and wait a minute. It looks like everything that I predicted in those videos are finally turning out to be true. So let's start with the streamer Shout who out Rage. the biggest announcement of the night in Your Rage. So I'm sure most of you watching this video Shout probably out Rage. have an idea of who Your Rage is. Popular for his reaction content, he became one of the So I don't know which is coming out first. I don't know if this is coming out first or my reaction to Rage's uh, first stream back. It's coming out first. Well, it's not his first stream back. I think he was just talking about things on stream. But uh, I'm not gonna lie. When when I saw that notification from Rage, bro, I tuned in, bro. That nigga shit. That, that nigga subs was flying through the roof. Shout out Rage. Was on Twitch in the past few years, but on August 14th, he's the only one to pull this. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm pausing it, but he is the only one to pull this off successfully. When Ninja did it with Mixer, when Ninja came back to kick, he lost almost all of his viewership. Rage is the only person that I've seen personally to go over to another platform, stay successful, come back to his platform, and become even more successful on the platform than he was before he left. 23, your Rage will make his official announcement telling the world that he was going to be moving over to kick streaming and would no longer be streaming on Twitch. And it's rumored that the official contract that your Rage has signed with Kick would total over $75 million for only two years of streaming. God damn! <laughs> I never knew that, bro, Rage. See? Now, I don't know. And that's why I'm not mad at him, bro. Get that bag and then come back home, bro. That's literally what he did. Internet. So Sorry, bro. I'm talking over you. Because you guys know with these kick streaming contracts, numbers just get thrown around on the internet. That is true. I highly doubt that that was the actual amount that he was for the contract. But just after one year of streaming on this platform, Rage's contract was officially up with kick, and he had the decision to choose whether to go back to Twitch or to re sign another deal with kick and stay on this platform. And it seemed like this wasn't really an easy easy choice for your rage to make because he ended up taking a three month long break that boy was gone I'm taking a break i'm taking a break it could be one days it could be two days it could be a week it could be two weeks it could be a month it could be three months it could be an hour i'm taking a break nigga. i'm not gonna lie here's another thing during that break decisions will be made but he still mm. appeared on various streams over the duration of his break. Mafia appearing time. on streamers such as Kasanat streams and other phase members as well. And whenever he made his appearance, the number one question he was asked was, when was he going to return back to streaming and what platform was he going to be streaming on? Why would niggas answer that? Very private for the entire three months he was gone. Many people had speculated that he was going to return to Twitch, but we didn't really have much of an idea. It was all just rumors, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos. But after three long months of waiting on a decision, it was announced during tonight's streaming awards that he was going to officially be returning to twitch and he will post a trailer to all of his social media platforms bro really put a trailer out bro mother eyes sober is great i actually watched this i should have i should have reacted to it but i was like i would just watch this a minute niggas making trailers for everything nowadays but this shit was fire bro i can't even lie nigga opened the book to all screaming right. or was i <laughs> that's way too far back <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Ray screaming is hilarious to me, bro. Roderick. Yo, Roderick. this shit was a fire-ass series. I really wish he kept going, but, like, I get Here it. Right. Stream All snipers right. be ruining shit. Let's go. Roderick music. Merzik. Roderick Merzik. 
that shit this was is cold. This is going to be a very big loss for Kick because Your Rage was one of the biggest streamers that they had on the platform. And not only was he one of the biggest streamers that they had, but he also averaged a real viewership. You know, a lot of top streamers over on that platform have various view botting allegations. And it's justified because Rage is the only one, like I said, bro. Streaming from other platforms such as Twitch. They will average 20 to 30,000 views when they were only averaging like a few thousand over on Twitch. But Your Rage was one of the only streamers who came over to this Kick platform and averaged about the same amount of viewers on kick that he did that's what i Twitch. said so losing the streamer who was averaging about 20 to twenty five thousand real viewers is rage is just because it's rage bro it's because it's rage bro i'm not like i'm not even trying to sit here and glaze rage or anything but like i said bro this is the only nigga who has went to a different platform stayed successful came back home and had an even more success on <laughs> when returning bro when Ninja did that shit, he live, lost all of his viewers when he went over to Mixer. And then when he came so back to Twitch, he, he, he Aiden Ross, the, the niggas the never came Kick back. Platform have been involved in a lot of drama with the Kick streaming CEO Eddie Craven, the Australian crypto billionaire who owns not only Kick streaming but Stake.com as well. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, that shit is annoying, bro. When I'm on Twitter, bro, and you see like clips of niggas streams and whatnot, or just clips in general, and it has the little stake thing under it. I'm like, bro, y'all niggas, this is this annoying, bro. Which is an online gambling platform that streamers like XQC, Aiden Ross, and Trainwrecks TV all have deals with. But after a few days of going back and forth on social media, it seems like Aiden Ross and the Kick CEO may have completely tarnished their relationship. Aiden had threatened to expose the Kick CEO to the world for who he really is, while the Kick CEO has stated that. Aiden oh, 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 oh. Instead of dealing this with instead of dealing with this in private, you want to crack jokes and laugh it off and tell Neon's management that this is all a script. I'm gonna enjoy UFC and give you one last chance to make things right privately with me before I tell and show the world the real you. Aiden was upset and just wanted more money. There's been various rumors on the internet talking about why this falling out happened in the first place, such as Aiden potentially being sued by the CEO for rigging games on a gambling site. But regardless of whatever the true reason is behind this falling out, it seems like this relationship has got to the point of no return and Aiden Ross officially announced on Twitter that he would be leaving Kick Streaming for good. Aiden Ross going to YouTube? a Twitter post from his burner account stating that he will be making a full video on why he's leaving Kick indefinitely oh, and he's going he to stepping Twitch. down officially and he will be going into full detail about this later on this week and he'll tell the world everything and with that being said, he's going to fully focus on being reinstated on Twitch. And with this, Damn. you have very Oh, because he's banned. Replying comments such as your rage who just announced that he was leaving kick as well as streamers like see you soon b lou stable ronaldo and lacy as well and it's looking like this is going to be very big news within the streaming community because this tweet has only been up for about an hour at the time of this recording and it already has over 547,000 views as well as 24,000 likes and like i said no one actually knows the reason behind this whole falling out with that d wade and kick but no, apparently he's going to tell the world everything later on in the week so when that happens i'll be sure that's how bright ass Light like for it to light up the room now, that much. That's like a bright Kick ass light. Officially over, but it seems like the CEO of the platform doesn't think that it's going to affect. Kick I mean, my light can get brighter too. I just keep it on the lowest setting. Aiden Ross was leaving. This was his response. You know, I think the likes of Aiden, right? If, if like, hey, look, if he this, was to leave, Kick would, would Kick off. die? No, Kick won't die. Would would Kick lose viewership in terms of hours watched? Of course. Would it lose community? Sure, there'd be communities left. But I think again, it opens up room for other people to grow. Now, y'all, listen to me real quick. I used to tell Kendrick I knew Kick was going to die. And that's part of the reason why I didn't even try going over there. Because I knew the second niggas like Aiden Ross and, and your rage left, it's done for, bro. It's done for, bro. Right, I think, again, Thank it's a platform. It's a social media platform. And if a social media platform is reliant on, like, any individual... The only niggas that are going to be on Kick are the ones who want to say, like, TOS shit without the the risk of being banned which is like bro is it really worth it to be on a dying website just so that you can say the hard r like let's be honest bro is it really worth it Who's that? and That's you like can harass people on omegle right? like at the I, end of the day on omegle? It is that community sentiment it is that is it worth it backbone of the company that matters and i think kick is very fortunate to be in a very good position right now whereby you know i don't think 
kick needs any large names to to continue going. Now, even if he thinks Aiden Raw is leaving the platform, all right, bro, going to hurt it at all. Cole Carter, I'll tell you here first that it's definitely going to harm the platform. I don't know what the CEO is talking about because it's not only Aiden Raw is leaving; it's also all of his friends on the platform as well, who all average a couple thousand viewers on their own. And obviously, as I mentioned rage. earlier in the video, they lost your rage, who was definitely a top five streamer, if not top three streamer, on this whole entire app. Who knows what streamers? <laughs> Shout out Rage. The only notable names that they really have left on this platform are streamers like XQC and Neon. Who oh, have XQC is on kick? Allegations, so he I'm not going to lie. I don't watch XQC. XQC. I never did. And they also have streamers like Los Polos who will probably end up leaving in the future as well. Is that a dog? Oh, my God. Some names like Fuzi and Sneeko are also still in the platform as well, but they literally get banned every week and they don't really have many other options to stream on either. But outside of streamers like XQC and Los Polos, those names aren't really enough to keep your entire platform. Nah, not really. Especially when you just lost two of the biggest streamers that you guys had on the site. I don't know if saying this is the end of Kick is a drag or not, but it's definitely looking like this platform doesn't have too much longer. It's gonna That's start just dying my for sure. Opinion. As you guys are the only opinion that I really care about is you guys' opinion. But let me know down below in the comments, what do you think about this entire situation do you think that kick has any hope left or do you think these streamers leaving is unless another big name streamer goes from twitch to kick i don't think kick has a chance bro into the platform and if you're delusional and you don't think that this is the end of the platform comment down below and let me now like i said bro like they had a better they had a better going out than mixer did because mixer it was just ninja and that was it Obviously, niggas went over there too because of Ninja, but it wasn't like a, it wasn't like multiple big streamers. Like they had Aiden Ross, XQC, and Rage go over there. And obviously, Neon and shit. But like, who the fuck? You know what I'm saying? But let me know some of the other streamers that you currently watch on the kick platform and while you're at it if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join me on my journey to 10,000 subscribers hey bro bando i'm gonna throw i'm gonna drop We're you a like bando 400 subscribers away you guys have been going crazy this, this nigga really is almost but immense love and support and i just want to keep that going 300 all away at the end of the year and with that also being said if you enjoyed the video be sure to give Whoa. me a thumbs up if you didn't enjoy the video be sure to give me a thumbs down any feedback is good feedback to me and as always, I appreciate all of the love and support. And I'll Bro, I didn't know on YouTube if you just held the click down, it two-timed it. What the hell? I think they had a better chance than Mixer did because they had multiple big streamers go over to the platform. But I think now that both Aiden Ross, Your Rage are gone and XQC and Los are like the only ones, they might still have a platform as long as those niggas stay. I think if XQC decides he want to go back to Twitch, or Los decides he wants to go back to Twitch, or they both do at the same time, it's over for Kick, like, entirely. It's tough. I think Kick's downfall is starting, bro.